We welcome you back inside BMO Harris Bank Center for the Schnucks second intermission update. We'll have the Illinois Lottery second period scoring recap a little bit later on as the Rockford Ice Hogs tied up with the Milwaukee Admirals at one here in this key Central Division showdown. But before we take a look at the out-of-town scoreboards and all the news and recaps, I have a special guest joining me in the broadcast booth here this evening, a Rockford native, but most importantly, the first Rockford native to do the Lambo leap. <laughs> Green Bay Packers defenseman Dean Lowry joining us here on Dean Lowry Bobblehead Night. We just heard that on the promotion. First and foremost, I mean, uh, to be immortalized the bobblehead, is uh, <laughs> that's a whole other level of, of immortality there, my friend. How do you think it turned out, and how's your night going with your friends and family? Oh, it's pretty cool. Yeah, the bobblehead is nice. Uh, I mean, the Ice Hogs jersey, it's, uh, it's the right fit. So uh, coming here with my, my hometown team, it's uh, a lot of love out here. Um, the fans here are great. A lot of uh, Packer fans in the crowd tonight, too, so I see quite a few uh, 94 jerseys, so that's that's special as well. But a uh, great night with the family. Um, we're all here together. Got some uh, high school friends back here as well, so just having a good time. Now, uh, I, I look back in the schedule, and you mentioned it when we talked uh, a few weeks ago that you also did an event with the Milwaukee Admirals. So that's the uh, pretty much the hometown team and the home state team of the Green Bay Packers, if you will. But I'd imagine your loyalty lies with the Ice Hogs in this showdown, ironically enough. I'm Ice Hogs all the way, so let's go, baby. <laughs> go Hogs. Well, you mentioned you get to come home and, and enjoy the offseason. I know certainly uh, football season's ramped up a little bit, but you get to catch up with family and friends. What do you do when you come back into town? Because I know in the life of a professional athlete, there's a lot of training, there's a lot of out of town, uh, just visiting and seeing all the different aspects that are involved in a pro athlete's life. But when you come home, what, what do you do? How do you unwind? What does Dean Lowry do to, to plug back into his community? Yeah, uh, that's a good question. You know, I, during the season two, for those six months, I'm in Green Bay for pretty much half the year, so when I come back, I try and spend as much time as possible with family. Uh, it's great seeing friends, too, to catch up on, you know, old stories or just to see how they're doing in life. So it's, it's always fun, too, just to um, see them after I haven't seen them for a while. Um, but, yeah, just, just um, you know, unwind, uh, you know, mentally and physically recharge. And it's a long season, so you want to make sure that you go into the season training camp with a healthy mind and um, you enjoy your off season. So that's that's very important for NFL players. Beginning your third season with the Green Bay Packers organization and third season as a professional coming out of Rockford, Illinois. I mean, you keep building on each season that you had prior. I mean, what expectations are you setting for yourself? Because sometimes it's hard to unplug when you're trying to build off a, a pretty good year that you had last year with the Pack. Right, and that's important too. I, and I really think since my freshman year of college that I've improved each year. So. I, t I try and take pride in that and in, in doing that, and I look forward next year to doing that. So, um, you know, I would say just being more consistent as a playmaker. You know, I think if you watch the games last year, I had some big games. You know, obviously the, the Lambo Leap game against the Buccaneers was a big game, but I want to have more games like that. You know, I want to be somebody that teams look to that they got to account for. So. Uh, that's my goal, and I'm working towards that. You know what it's all about to be in a, a competitive mindset, especially in the mindset of, of making a postseason push like the Rockford Ice Hogs. I mean, did you play ice, uh, ice hockey as a kid? Or I mean, I know you can probably translate in the competitive nature, but I mean, how do you dive in at a, a time like this when you're trying to make a push like this? So I played one year of hockey um, at the Rockford, at the Carlson uh, Center when I was in like, <laughs> second grade. So, And I had like my two like uh, front teeth knocked out as well just from like, you know, losing teeth as well, so I, I it looked apart too as a uh, player. So, uh, but it was I, I think it interfered with uh, with basketball, so I had to stop. But I miss it actually. It's it's actually a very physical game, so I think it, it kind of is similar to football in a way, just on skate. So I have a lot of respect for the guys that, that play this game because it's it's tough with being big guys and having that balance to skate so well. So you're a multi-sport guy. When did you finally say football is the path for me? I would say about sophomore year of, of high school. I thought that was my best sport going forward and my best chance to go on and play college football and the, and the pros, so uh, it was a good choice. <laughs> <laughs> and now moving forward, my final question for you, sir, before I let you get back to your family and friends and enjoy their time. If you got a chance to, to write a letter to your former self, uh, a, a youth growing up here in Rockford, Illinois, like I'm sure a lot of these kids are coming up to you and playing high school football at Boylan, where you went to high school football, and you were to write a letter to yourself, what, were, what would be some of the biggest keys you would tell yourself to, to see success and to prepare for? You know, I would uh, first say just to have fun with it. You know, I see a lot of kids today that take it too seriously at a young age. They, they try and focus on one sport too early. So I would just say play as many sports as possible. You don't feel like you have to play, you know, just football or just basketball when you're, you know, in seventh or eighth grade. So really um, get a good mix of different sports. You know, play hockey, play soccer, and that really will help you to hone different um, skills. You know, for example, hand-eye skills or speed or different things that you can apply to maybe your sport you choose later on in your career. So 
have fun with it, uh, but also you know work hard, be disciplined, and, and just uh, shoot for the stars. Well, Dean, I appreciate your time. Enjoy the night, what's left of it on Dean Lowry Bobblehead Night. Enjoy your family and friends, and most importantly, good luck this season, and go Pack Go. Go Pack Go, thank you very much. Dean Lowry, Green Bay Packers defensive end, joining us here on the broadcast as the Rockford Ice Hawks and Milwaukee Admirals go toe-to-toe -to -toe here tonight at BMO Harris Bank Center. It is a 1-1 game after two periods of play. We'll come back and break down the action, take a quick spin through the outtown scoreboard and more. You're listening and watching Rockford Ice Hawks hockey on the Ice Hawks broadcast network. <laughs> 